Disney's hotly anticipated Avengers Endgame movie hitting the big screens this weekend, and it's already breaking records around the globe. Uh, Julie Borson's in Los Angeles with the details. Julia. Melissa, that's right. Record-breaking numbers from territories all around the world put Avengers Endgame on track for near an unprecedented $1 billion worldwide box office opening weekend. That would dwarf the current record, which was set by Avengers Infinity War last year with $640 million at the worldwide box office. Now, Disney just today reporting that Endgame's opening day is tracking towards $140 million domestically, saying that it's on track to gross about $300 million over the weekend. The film has already grossed over $150 million in China. Now, Avengers Endgame benefiting not just from rave reviews, a 96% positive rating from Rotten Tomatoes, but also positive word of mouth. Comscore's North America audience survey found over 80% of moviegoers would definitely recommend the film to their friends, and nearly 30% said they'd see the film again in theaters. Endgame is expected to help turn around the domestic box office, which is down over 16% so far this year, and to further boost theater stocks, which you see now are um, up pretty significantly year to date. Now, Disney is expected to dominate the box office this summer. Cowan saying that Disney has a murderer's row of films coming out, including Lion King, Aladdin, and Toy Story 4. And Disney's actually releasing Almost half of all the movies coming out this summer with a budget of $100 million or more. Now, a massive hit from Avengers Endgame would not only be a win for Disney's studio, which spent a reported $400 million to produce this film, but could also really benefit Disney Plus, the streaming service that's launching in November, because Marvel and all the characters in Avengers Endgame will be featured heavily on that service. Guys, back to you. All right, Julia, thank you, Julia Borson. Of course, Disney shares soaring to an all-time high just this month as it unveiled details of that streaming service. I mean, the halo effect from all this positive, um, you know, the reviews, et cetera, around this Avengers is going to be really good for the streaming. Yeah, so it's not just about the studios. Yes. As, as Julia just said, for, you know, five years, this stock has been trading between 190 and 120, waiting for this strategy to emerge. And since it emerged, since that Disney Plus announcement, the stock's up 20% in a straight line. The company's going to report earnings on May 8th. I think you really got to be careful chasing it here um, because they already told us they're going to incur a lot of losses to do this. But I think all the news as it relates to Hulu, I think it's all great. I think you want to buy this thing on pullbacks. Right. You know, we always talk about buy the rumor, sell the news. Mm -hmm. And the most obvious example of that is a big movie, you know, release that's about to come out. You look, the stock's gained, I don't know, $16 billion of market cap in the last five days, maybe six days. To me, this seems another classic buy the rumor, sell the news, meaning don't buy it in front of the movie now. 21 and a half, 22 times next year's. I mean, that's a staggering multiple for right. Disney based on based on Disney's history and just based on its peers. Maybe they deserve it. I don't know. But I think to Dan and Karen's point, I think you got to be really careful going into earnings. If you've enjoyed this ride, there's absolutely nothing wrong with taking some money off the table in Disney here.